Good afternoon, it's June from Paints, Pots and Paper and Jot Journals Creations. Uh, welcome to another Happy Scrappy Saturday. I have to be very careful how I say that sometimes. Um, today I'm not working on the journal. I thought it would make a change to do some um, collage. That's what it's called. It's called Collage June. So what I was doing in the week, I was sorting through all my scraps and I've been very good, well not all of them, actually that'd be ridiculous to say that, I'd be here forever. Um, but what I have done is I've sorted a lot into sizes, all very tidy and neat. Well, these are just some that I did, there's quite a lot here actually, they look less than there is. And um, just, and I've trimmed them all so they're more or less a, a sort of shape that I'd want to use. Um, and they're all these ones are all in my lovely new tin that I absolutely adore, and um, which you can see in my previous video, which was part two of my boot fair haul. Um, so I've got this book, and yeah, it's a very pretty book, it's all about wild cats and that, but it's been sitting on my shelf waiting to be used for something for, I'm not kidding you, it's been on my bookshelf about 10 years, if not longer, actually no longer. I brought it here when we moved and I moved here 12 years ago. So it's been there quite a long time and I thought it was time that um, I used it and I'll never use it. So I thought, well, I'll use it as a base for some collage. And here I've done one already to see what it was like to glue onto and it's lovely. Uh, where it's shiny, it, it enables me to slide the papers a bit. So, as I was saying, when I was going through it all, I realised that my strips were getting a bit out of hand. So, I thought, well, I'm going to do more or less a strips one today. So, what I'll do is I'll turn the page and get to the next page ready. Now, it's very hot in the south, well, and probably in the west, I think, today in, in uh, Britain, in England anyway. Do excuse the noise, my neighbours have, I think we've got a barbecue, um, children's birthday or some such thing. Um, but I do have to have the window open because it is so warm in here. And I haven't been in here much this week because it's been too hot to work. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do some scraps and just see how far I got. get. I'm not putting them in any, any particular colours, order, anything. I'm just literally rooting around in the box, rooting them out. I don't think you can see all of the box in there, but if I do that, you won't see me sticking. So I'm afraid you'll only see bits of the box, but I'm going to just put them down as and when and just see what I get done, really. It's not a race, I'm not in any hurry. These are quite big pages, which I, which I thought would make them ideal for the long strips. And uh, but before I do anything, I'm just going to cut this edge off my glue page, glue book, should I say, because as you know, it gets in the way. I can just, it's not just going to tear off. I might get my knife onto it in a minute if this doesn't work. I think it's got a bit too thick for that. Let's see if I can find a craft knife and attack it with that so I don't decide to slice my hand off. And I've got a knife here. This should do something. That's it. It just makes it easier, doesn't it? To, ah, that's it, June. Cut yourself. Makes it easier to get the pages off. Because it's surprising how quick these hedge bits build up, isn't it? Sorry about this, I should have done this walk. So I think I nearly did cut myself in. <laughs> I'm lethal. I shouldn't really be allowed near sharp things. I don't think I am normally. Right, 
easier, that's better. Not perfect, but it's better. Oh, that is sitting in there. Yeah. Oh, can stay there for now. Let's put that away before I slice my hand off with it. That's it. That one out the way before it gets stuck onto my book. I don't now need the big scissors. That's better. So although these are really cute, um, I'm afraid I'm going to collage on them. <laughs> So anyway, let's get started. Gosh, it is warm in here. I'll tell you, it's been boiling. They reckoned it would be cooler on the south side of the country today. Um, and that the west would get it really hot, but I'm telling you, although we've had some rain, it is pretty hot this side, I tell you. All right, let's get started. Can you see me? You can see me there, can't you? Yes. So I hope you're all having a nice day and that the weather's good where you are and that you're having a nice nice weekend, perhaps doing a bit of crafting. But I just thought this would be a nice relaxing thing to do. Let's see if I don't get the cloth stuck to my hand. Yeah, that's the same look, that's handy. Let's just chop a bit off there. So I've got the washing machine busy washing away out there. Got quite a lot to do, a lot of bedding and things. and uh, But it will dry, it will definitely dry in this weather. See me getting extremely sticky. And so I'm not giving this too much thought as to what I'm putting down first or what side I'm putting down or anything else. I'm just just playing with it and um When I've done enough and they're nice and dry, then eventually I will obviously use them. And I think they make nice tags and um, and journal cards. But the size of this, I might even get a cover out of it if I feel like doing a cover with them. That would be interesting, but I'm not sure about that one. See what I mean on this uh, shiny paper? It's a lot easier to slide them into place. of Edith Holden paper, I think. One of her books. That paper's just so too nice, isn't it, to throw away. Oh, let's have that side with a bit of writing, a bit more writing on it. been doing this week um, well besides melting I haven't done a great deal because of the weather but um we went out down to Faversham which is um a little town quite near us it's in Kent 
and um, that one's got a little hole in it, but I think, well, of course, it's going to be there. Actually, I'm going to leave that hole, and I'm going to, that little hole there, and I'm going to um, just put a little something over it. Yeah, we went to uh, went to Faversham, which is a quite a, an old little town. Lots of um, uh, timbered buildings and things like that. And um, there's a wharf there that has got all these sheds of um, antique shops and a little tea room and that. So we went round there and I, my partner just went and sat down and waited for me because he was too hot. But um, I had to look round the sheds. No, I didn't buy anything at all really. Well, all I bought was, um, I've put in work at the moment, but just, uh, just some pearls to um, put on. Oh, that's a nice length, isn't it? Yeah, I just bought a couple of packs of pearls I had for £2 each, just to thread on to journals, really. But they were old, like, vintage pearls, so I thought they were quite nice, and so only a couple of quid each, so I thought, well, they'll come in handy. And then we had um, <laughs> cream scones and um, Victoria sandwich cake, and, uh, yeah... That piled on the calories a bit, but never mind, who cares? Oh, I'm getting stuck. Getting stuck to my um, paper here. My book page. Get them out of the way. I use them for other things, for pockets and um, tags and things. We went there just for a couple of hours. It was too hot to stay too long. Um, I haven't done much gardening at all apart from spraying things because of the bastard green fly. And um, done a bit of dead heading. Um, sitting in the she shed reading when it's been too hot to sit outside. And the other Friday I was over my sister's house. Actually, I'm going to put that up there. I was at my sister's house for the evening. She cooked us a meal, which was absolutely gorgeous. She did us a beef stew and um, we had drinks, which was really nice. I don't see her that often. She doesn't live that far away from me, but, you know, we, we just... Uh, get together about once every month or so and um, have a, either she cooks a meal or we have a Chinese takeaway or an Indian takeaway or something like that. It's really nice. I know this piece is a bit bland next to that, but as I said, I'm not going to give it a lot of thought. I think once it's all cut up, it won't make any difference, to be honest with you. Let's, just, let's have this piece of music paper that's been sitting there. Well, it's not real music paper, it's um, a bit of a digital that was printed off. And I must admit, this is really lovely to do. I haven't done collages before. I've always shied away from it. I didn't think, well, I don't know why I didn't think I could do it, but once you get going, it just flows, doesn't it? I, you know, it's 
probably lots of you out there who've done loads of collage, but it's just something I've never really got around to doing. I've done collage as in making up a, a piece of art. I've done several of those and sold them actually, but um, I've never done collage as in just random collage like this for, you know, for use as something else. Oh no, it's the same as that. Put a piece of that down there. It's annoying me, that little gap down there. Let's have a piece of this. But speaking of my garden, if I can work out how to do it, I'll put some pictures up that I took the other day. Because I'm always going on about it, so I thought perhaps you might like to see what it looks like. And I believe there is also one that's got my little dog Poppy in it, so you'll be able to see what she looks like. So if I can work out how to do it, I'll put them up at the, either at the beginning or the end, <laughs> whichever one I can do. And um, yeah, you'll see what she looks like. It's not a fantastic picture of her. She's on the decking outside the she shed. But um, yeah, I'll give you a rough idea. There's nothing worse when somebody keeps talking about something or someone and... Uh, you don't know what they look like. Oops. Slide it round a bit. Oops, get off. I'm going to have to wipe my hands in a minute because they're getting very, very sticky. So I will go into our stuff in here. Just as well I'm not filming in one of the back rooms of the house because uh, I think the children are getting a bit lively. I'm going to have to put another little bit in there. <laughs> this is why I haven't done collage before because everything sticks to you. Oh my goodness. I didn't realise you got so sticky doing it. Doesn't want to stick. Don't know why. It's just being difficult, unless it just stuck to my hand. My sticky little fingers. Oh yeah, I can hear them screaming. <laughs> Joy. Oh, I'm so glad my children are growing up. Actually, and my grandchildren, they're growing up too. I've got great-grandchildren now, but even most of them are past the screamy stage, to be honest. They're, um, trying to think how my great-grandchildren I've got. One great granddaughter is a teenager. I've got uh, a great grandson who's. I think I've got one who's. Yeah, one who's 11 or 10. Yeah, he will be going to his uh, next school soon. 
I don't know what they call it these days. We used to call it secondary school or grammar school or something like that. But um, what they call it now, I'm afraid I haven't got a clue. And I certainly don't know what they call it in the States. I suppose you call it high school in the States. I don't know if they've started calling it that here or not. But yeah, I get confused now the different names they've got for things it's a sign of old age isn't it really right so that's that page done there's a little bit down there that i can see shining through that's annoying me so i'm just going to find a thin strip or something to pop on there it's just down there it doesn't where it doesn't quite meet up and we've got this plain piece down there Piece wants to be glued onto the glue book rather than go on the collage. But you're going on now. There you go. There's another little annoying bit, aren't I? I'm so. Oh, no, I'm just going to ignore it. Ignore it completely. So that's that page done anyway. I'll just fold this page over and get another one going. Yeah, so that's a bit of ideal use of this book. It's nice, sturdy pages. That's it. And a bit of a bit of a root round. I see a few more bits, and that's a pretty bit, so I'm going to start off with that, I think. So it's only going to be a quick video, which will make a change for me, I know. But, um, yeah, and this heat, and that, uh, I just wanted something I could just get straight on with and not even have to think about. And this was a perfect solution, so. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the glue off. Because it doesn't look that good, does it? Yeah, let me know if you do collage and what you use your collage for when you've finished it. That would be interesting for me to know, having never done it before. <laughs> Bit stuck on me. I see the wet wipes coming out in a minute. it's lovely to use up some of these pieces i'll never use them all up which with uh, page edge decoration decoration as much as i love doing them as i say i'll never ever use the amount of these strips i get on just those and i don't know oh i'm not my partner coming back he's a bit heavy for his bike 
I could be wrong. I've got my sign now, yeah. Um, it was lovely using some of these up at last. Should we have a dark one? Have that. No, I don't really want that. I'm not supposed to be thinking about them, so we're having a dark one. Put like that side. Dark light. Now I'm going to go with what I was supposed to be doing at first because otherwise I'll start looking at every piece and I won't get this one done. Stop it, Jim. <laughs> you can't help it, can you? Just start overthinking it. I'm not going to. I'm just going to let some have that piece. This is a piece from my um that I used on my Alice in Wonderland journal. Such pretty paper, but I don't I can't get it anymore. Well, I've not seen it around. I'd like to get some more of it. Another piece I used in Alice. Sorry if I go quiet, it's just you just get absorbed with this, I think. And you forget that you're supposed to be talking to people. But I think it's just nice to watch anyway as well because I sit and watch this sort of thing when people do it and I just love it. too much about the edges not being perfect on these strips it doesn't matter it all gets stuck down and cut up just the same This is from the 
Oriental Journal that I did. It's a lady. Actually a lady in New York. New York bought it from me. She also bought one of my other journals. I can't think what it was. So. Oh, it was one of the Boho Art Journals, I believe. I think that was a lady in New York. I'd love to go there, New York. It must be lovely. My daughter's been there, but I'd like to go there. I'd like to go to Central Park more than anything. Only because I love la nature and the countryside, and that just looks so beautiful. And I, but I'd also like to go to America to go to um, somewhere like Yellowstone Park. You've got your people in the States have got such a vast country, haven't you? It must be absolutely wonderful. You have to let me know if any of you get to see a lot of it. And I dare say even if you're born in the States, you don't, not everybody gets to see all of it because there's just so much, isn't there? Just um, pop that up there. Why not? Just got a little piece to go in, haven't I? Oh, that piece looks nice. And I think I'll take it a bit longer. I'll take it down to there. see quite a wide shiny bit coming through there so I'm going to put a piece of something down there. This looks interesting. I keep banging my elbow. things up a bit. Just give it a bit of a, a bit of a flattening down. of this actually. I'm going to put it that way. I'm going to put it that Oh, I don't know. I've got this. This sitting up here. Minding its own business. That can go on. I don't really want to take it right across there. So. Uh, 
Let's see, I'll trim that. Oops, when it sticks. Well, when it sticks not to me, when it sticks to the um, the page. So there's another page we've got done. Now, do I start another one or leave it at that? I think I might do one more. I'll do one more with you and uh, then I'm going to call it a video. Excuse me while I have a sip of my tea. is getting decidedly cold. Oh, there's a really nice to do. I'm enjoying this, in case you hadn't noticed. Those pages don't all stick to each other. That'd be a disaster, wouldn't it? And they're fine. All right, let's get started on another page. And then I will call it a video and let you people go. I don't want the... Um, no, I'm going to leave that piece. I don't want those edges everywhere. That way and that way. Let's have the, um, let's have the pink side up. So it's got some interesting writing on it. It's from the Ladies Fashion Journal. It's a piece of um, Graphic 45. Size as well goes right across there. So. Oh, right along there, should I say? I'm just gonna get rid of that because it's um, oh, well sticky. You know, now and get used for something else. Excuse my arm. Just putting it in my little scrappy bin over there. And it just certainly uses up your glue stick, doesn't it? I think I'll have to order some more. I've got, I think I've got nearly a whole one left, but I'm not sure. I don't think I've got any out in the she should now. I think I bought them all in recently. But I should have enough to finish this. If not, it's wet glue, isn't it? Mm. That will be fun. Well, that's a pretty piece. I'm not sure what it's is or what it's from. I think it's from a digital or... Mm. I don't know. I think it's from a digital. my partner excuse the dog barking I'll just pause the film a minute right sorry about that um my partner came in and I made him a cup of tea and took the opportunity to make myself a cup of coffee whilst I was there and he's now happily sitting down watching his racing but I think it's British superbikes or something he's watching but um I hope you can't hear it because it's a bit noisy, but I've pushed the doors too, but the only thing is my dog might push them back open again, <laughs> so I do apologise. 
So I'm going to finish this page and call it a video. Oops. Because I think the, yeah, uh, got a feeling the bike racing goes on all afternoon now, I believe it does. So that one's still in shot, yeah. See everything, yeah. Yeah, have a little quick cup of coffee, get that. I haven't drunk it yet, but um, see you next to me. Go down there. As I say, I'll try and get some photos either at the beginning or the end of this, of my garden. And as I say, I believe there's one of my little dogs. And um, yeah, you can tell me if you've got a garden that you work on be really interested um, and if you love gardening as much as I do besides this and a bit of painting and I don't do much pottery these days but um, it all helps to keep me sane as you may or may not know I can't walk Poppy too much at the moment because She's got a problem with her leg. So, um, yeah, and I'm normally out with her and I don't like walking on my own. I do like company and my partner doesn't walk much because he's got arthritic knees. So, um, yeah, so it's nice to have something to do outside. can't hear the racing in the background. It shouldn't be too bad. Find a piece, excuse my arm. Piece to go down the bottom here. No, I don't like that piece. There you go, I'm being picky now, aren't I? Mm, leave it, Jim. What's this place? No. Oh, that, that'd be okay. Yeah, Poppy's being considerably good today, actually, considering what the neighbours have got um Lots of little children around there and the bouncy castle and all sorts. It's, um, yeah, she's being very well behaved. Possibly because I'm not letting her in the garden at the moment. <laughs> well, I've got to let her in the garden, obviously, but, um, yeah. When it quietens down a bit next door. Okay. Oh, there's two pieces there. A piece of plain. Glue page again. Never over a tad.
it's a pity I can't see some of your gardens. I'm sure some of you, you've got some really lovely gardens to work in. And perhaps you make garden journals. Smell the uh, oh the barbecue food cooking from next door, making me feel hungry. I must admit. I going with this all down here? And I need a thin strip for that edge, or a couple of thin strips. See if I haven't got enough in here. I think I'm going to. Goes nice with that green next to so I'm going to put a piece of this up the top. before I knock that flying. Won't be the first time. Knocked a cup whole mug of coffee over on my desk a while back. Oh it was very, very annoying <laughs> and it seemed to get everywhere. Yeah, whole mug. I just made it. Just made this mug of coffee, brought it in. Went to sit down and knocked the whole lot flying. Here I'm going to be picky over the last piece, aren't I? Just 
not wide enough, it's a shame. It's nice and wonderful. This will make a bit of a difference, won't it? Yeah, I think that piece. Except I'm going to take it up a bit. Yeah, I'm going to take it up to there. coming undone that needs a bit more a bit more glue and there's a little bit of a little bit of a shiny bit there that I'm going to cover this is where you might not be able to see it but I can and that's going to annoy me Give it a quick go over with this. It's got a really good curved edge there. It doesn't dig it up. It's just my fingers that dig it up. properly and I'll finish right let's just quickly see what we've got and put my glue away oh, I'm going to take that bit off the top there as well on here better This is where we open the book and it's all stuck together. <laughs> well, there's the one that I did without you. Quite like that, actually. I like them all. There's the first one I did with you. That's pretty, isn't it? And the second one. So they're a nice size, these, as well. And there's the one I've just finished. And it's surprising when you look back at them how nice they look. They look don't look as good when you're doing them, but when you've done them, and I should imagine they'll look lovely cut up. So I can imagine bits of them, you know, so a journal card sort of thing. Yeah, they would be lovely. Yeah. Well, I'm really pleased with those, and I enjoyed doing them. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, thank you very much for joining my channel and take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.